Good morning. This is Gene, webmaster at Blue Gel Media, and today I'm going to show you how to pull detail out of the shadows and highlights that of a photo that is either too dark or too bright in certain areas. Very simple to do. We're going to use our shadow highlight uh, image adjustment palette. Okay, so here's a photo that would uh, clearly be considered too dark. There's uh, no detail here underneath these trees. So we go to Image, Adjustments, choose your Shadow Highlight Palette box, and you can see immediately, bam, let me bring this in the view for you. Uh, you can see right here, detail, boom, right underneath all this. Uh, that's because up here in our shadows um, pull bar, I guess we'll call it. Anyway, uh, it was already at 50%. Here's the original photo. So as you draw the shadow scroll bar further up, you can see more and more detail coming into the shadows of the photo. Okay, that's how it's generally used. However, as you can see, there are more options. So let's try a different photo. Let me cancel out of that. And try a different photo here. Okay. So with this photo, you can see things are pretty dark here. We could probably use a little more detail in his jacket, a little more detail in the trees. And clearly, the bride's dress is totally blown out. All we have is white, no detail at all. So image, adjustment, shadow highlights. Once again, it's already immediately jumped to the 50, so let me pull that down. This would be our original photo. So let's start with the shadows. Pull it up. And as you can really see the detail coming out of his jacket here. So that looks pretty good right about there. Now with the highlights, as you start to increase the highlight bar, you can see the detail really coming out. Look at that. See all the folds of the dress? Now what it's doing though, look what it's doing to the skin of the bride. It's turning her all, <coughs> excuse me, red and dark. So let's go ahead and we'll pull this up. We got lots of detail in this dress here. But what we can do is choose show more options. There we go. Now, in the highlights area, we have something called tonal width. Now, if you adjust this, bring it back down, you can see it's starting to add the original skin tone to the bride. And yet, we're keeping most of that detail that we inserted using the highlight amount bar. So we'll go ahead, increase that a little more, bring the tonal width down, and now look at that. She is still the pretty bride, very light white skin tones, and yet now we have detail in the dress, detail in the shadows, detail on this jacket. Here's the original, and now here with our changes. Very easy, great way to improve all your photos. And please remember to come check out bluegelmedia.com. Take a look at our over 9,000 Photoshop and web design templates. 40, 50 bucks and you can have your project completed in a matter of hours. Have a good one.